Please look at this. Imagine a top. Okay, you got a top, and you spin it. <laughs> and you spin it at infinite speed, and half the top is black, and half the top is white. If it spins at infinite speed, will it stand steady or will it wobble? It'll be steady. That means if the frequency is very high, it's steady, and it is gray. It's neither black nor white. It's neither black nor white. It's gray. But as the vibration slows down, what does it start to do? It starts to precess, wobble. And it does, you start to see black, white, 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 it's wobbling more and more, falling black, white, black, white, black, white. The angle of inclination starts growing. Black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black. It falls. Gravity rules it, and now it's either black or white where beforehand it radiates heat and it stands upright radiantly at high frequency. Are you with me on the metaphor? So our consciousness, if it's vibrating at a high frequency, we are upright, which is by definition nomen in Egypt, which means gnosis, which means it knows as it is. When it wobbles, it's unknown. It doesn't know. It has a shadow side. If you imagine a nomen stick at the vernal equinox in the summer, the sun right above it equally, there's no shadow on the stick. It's knowing, it's upright with light. But if it has a shadow at anything but the vernal equinox at noon, it has a shadow. It has something that's wobbling, black and white. So the wobbling top, as it becomes uh, slower in vibration, it eventually becomes black or white and falls gravitationally into one or the other. Our consciousness is like a top. And we wobble or we're steady. If we're steady, we have certainty. If we wobble, we have uncertainty. And when we're uncertain, we have emotional baggage. We have a, a, a judgment process. If we're steady, we have love. Can you picture what I'm saying here? We see things both sided simultaneously. At this highest frequency, it's called a quantum. This highest wavelength, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 33rd centimeters, that is by definition a quantum. If you go to the third page of Aristotle's work on the soul, he described the soul as something that has qualia and also something that's a quantum. The concept of quantum theory today, even Aristotle referred to. Go read his works, you'll see it. Mm -hmm.